Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a long time here and in today's video we'll be making we'll be learning how to put app shortcuts in our app just like here. You can see the long press on the app, it brings out shortcut and which will direct you to another page in the app. And without wasting time with your new year, can you subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So for this video we need this quick actions package quick actions package here and i'll leave the link in the description below so quick actions package and then right here i just have my stateless widgets which is wrapping around my home page which is a stateful widget is a material app and let's just run the app to see what we have currently And now this is what we currently have. We have. This is our home page. And if I close this, if I close this, this is the app we have. Let me move it. You can see we only have post app and app info. Let me move this to the home page. Alright, cool. So we only have post app and app info. Let's add our app first course. So first things first, in our home page, which is a stateful widget, don't forget the source code will be available in the description below. In our home page, we we'll initialize our quick action. Final quick action equals to quick action. Cool. And then in our init, the next page, we add our shortcut. Quick action dot set shortcut items, and this will take a list. So right here, I want two shortcut items. If you take a type, this will be let's say events and the title name will be check events the second one shortcut quotes item this will be books and then check books okay and let's make this constant this can be a constant too. now if i should restart my app And I, I restarted my app. Let's go home. If I press this now, you can see the check event and check books. If I click on it, it just opens the app, not to a special page or anything. So for this reason, I created a page, this page here, which takes a string event. And then let's go to our main app. And write the functions for that. If the function for that, if actions dot initialize, and then we have the pipe. So if pipe equals to event, then navigator dot push. Material page route. Context. And then we have pages. So the title will be events. Else. 
if type equals to books not guitar dot push material page route context so context pages and the title here will be books okay let's make this first and of course Right. Let's auto reload. I mean restart. So this this is what we have right now. After restarting, but if I long press now and press the check event. And see it's leading us to the event page and if I press if I press the books same books it's leading us to the books page okay one more thing you can see that it looks as if there's a blank space for icon right here there's a blank space for icon right here so let's try to add icons in our quick actions. So I'll be getting icons from the Google Fonts package and you have to download as PNG. Let's check how to set it up. So in the you put icon in the native resource part, X C asset on iOS and variable on Android. Because I'm bidding for Android, I'll be able to show you. How to do that so in my app source main rest and driver i have books and i have task so in my icons here in the icon here i'll add box and then in the icon here i'll have books so let's we start again to see how it looks. And we can see our little icons right here. So this is how to add quick actions to your Flutter app. If you enjoyed this, kindly subscribe to the channel. Also like this video give me a follow on my social handles and i'll see you in the next lesson